Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball all postseason long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section to the Dodgers Nation question of the day. How do you feel about the Dodgers' decision to start Walker Buehler on short rest, and who should come in after Walker Buehler and how do you feel about this series? As of right now, how will it end? Do you see the Dodgers winning it in five games, the Giants winning it in five games, or will the Giants end the series tonight? I want your takes down below in the comment section. And what percentage chance do you give the Dodgers to win this series still? Let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we're going to get into the Dodgers cold offense in just a second. But we've got some breaking news to report. Just minutes ago, they announced that Walker Buehler will be taking the mound tonight in game four of the NLDS versus the Giants for the Dodgers. Walker Buehler is officially getting the start. It'll be the first time in his career that he'll be pitching on short rest. This year at home, a 2.05 ERA for Buehler. This year in the regular season against the Giants in six starts, 37 innings. He had a 219 ERA. They hit 209 off him. And in game one, he went six and a third innings, gave up three runs on six hits, had five punch outs, gave up the two run shot to Buster Posey early in the game, and then the solo shot to Chris Bryant towards the end of his outing. So he's going to be going tonight. And the big question is can he get it done on short rest? He threw 99 pitches in game one. And I think that he's game for it. I have full faith in Walker Bueller that he comes out, he gets gets the job done. He's Butane. He's Walker F. and Bueller. Yes, he hasn't been that dominant starter that he was last year in the postseason where he posted a 1-8 ERA in over 29 innings of work. But my real concern about tonight's game is that this is the 23rd meeting between the Giants and the Dodgers this year. And of those 23 meetings, eight have been started by Walker Bueller. So there is the familiarity factor that the Giants have on their side. Does that give them the edge? Look, I still give Walker Bueller the edge. He's at home. He's a big game pitcher. I know he hasn't been as dominant. He has been missing bats. He hasn't been getting the punch outs like we've seen him get in the past. But I think he's got that clutch gene. He's got that championship DNA. And I think he's going to give the Dodgers a chance to win tonight. But like I said last night on the post game show, it doesn't matter if the Dodgers have prime Sandy Koufax or 81 Fernando Valenzuela or 88 Oral Hershiser. If the Dodgers can't score runs, it's not going to matter. So that could put a lot of pressure on Walker Bueller if things are tight and they continue to struggle at the play. But I do think Walker Bueller, he's going to go at least six innings tonight. The question I have is who will come in after Walker Bueller? Will we really see Tony Gonsolin in tonight's game if it's close? That is the big question I have. And he said he expects to pitch in this one. But after what he showed us last year in the postseason where he struggled mightily, he was giving up home runs. He was giving up walks. He wasn't attacking that strike zone. You saw him nibbling quite a bit last year in October. Do we really want to put him out there in a do or die game? To me, I'm sticking with the big guns. Yes, Kenley and Blake Trinan, and I think you could still see them tonight, but at least Scherzer gave them seven last night, and you didn't have to use guys like Phil Bickford or Alex Vesia or Bruce Dark Gratterall or Corey Knable. So to me, I'd rather go with those guys. I trust those guys, because Tony Gonsolin, last year in the postseason, he gave up four home runs in nine and a third innings of work. So if the Dodgers have a big lead, then maybe you put him in there, especially if Walker Buehler can't go the distance. When I say the distance, I mean give them a quality start six innings. But unless the Dodgers blow this thing wide open early, I want to see the Joe Kellys, the Vestias, the Big Furs, the Trinans, the Knables, the Kenleys, the Bruce Dark Gratterals, Tony Gonson. I just don't trust him in this postseason game. I'm just being honest with you guys and we got to force that game five and also you get the day off in between games four and five so you can have a little reset you can have that day off but if he goes in there I hope he performs well it's just the home runs are something that concerns me especially after what we saw last October and then you factor in this Giants team they led the National League with 241 bombs and they also led all of Major League Baseball with most runs generated 
from the long ball. So that is not a recipe that I like when it comes to Gonsolin versus the Giants. So hopefully we get a virtuoso performance from Walker Buehler, something like we saw in Game 163 in 2018, or how about Game 3 of the 2018 World Series? Some of his starts last year. I'm hoping that we get a return to the dominant Buehler that's efficient. He's not walking, guys, so we can go deeper into this game. But hopefully the Dodgers offense didn't leave their hearts and their bats up in San Francisco, and they can give him some run support, and the Dodgers can win the game and get to a pivotal winner-take-all Game 5, an epic Game 5. Look, I think this series was destined to go five games. A 106-win team versus a 107-win team. Dodgers-Giants first time in their rich history meeting the postseason. This wasn't supposed to be a short series. This was destined to be an epic battle until the very end, and I think that's what we're going to get. I think Walker Buehler, he performs well tonight. He gets it done on the mound, and the Dodgers find a way to win, and they force Game 5 up in San Francisco. But let me know down below in the comments section, do you like the decision to start Walker Buehler on short rest? Me, I think it was a no-brainer, but who do you want to see come out after Walker Buehler, and do you trust Tony Gonsolin if he has to go at some point tonight? And also, how do you think this series will ultimately end? The Giants in four, they end the series tonight. Dodgers in five or Giants in five? How will this series end? I want all your takes down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, all postseason long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. LA. Download the Dodgers Nation app for my Android and iPhone users. For latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.